So this is John. John cleans the rugs um, in his shop here with his dusting machine right over there and he has a, a, a submergible bath. These rugs uh, get submerged in and um, nobody in the area is doing it like this. But this rug here we picked up yesterday. So we picked up that along with eight others as you can see them over there. And um, John has a dusting process here that um, he's turning the rug over on this metal grate. And as you can see underneath this grate it is perfectly clean. He just swept the floor. And we're going to get into it and show you how uh, he gets the dust out of this, these rugs. Nobody in the valley is doing this. Nope. So what's going on there, John? Basically just have leather straps uh, spinning around and dusting the rug, vibrating as you can feel the, yeah. how much it's shaking. And that's due to the racks. The racks have some movement in them. Which yeah, it really increases the uh, effectiveness of this dust. And really, what happens is all these rugs that um, John cleans here, they're hand knotted. So grit over time gets embedded in that knot. And just vacuuming them or hanging them out on a line and beating them with a a broom or something is, is very superficial. It'll only get out the top part of it. What John's doing right now is beating the back of the rug, loosening that grit from inside the knot. It's absolutely amazing um, how, much how much loose soil comes out of these rugs. Absolutely fascinating. You'll see in a minute. Okay, fishing. Can we see underneath that at all, John? Can see underneath the machine? Yeah. That's what's going on right there is uh, those leather straps are just beating the heck out of the back of the rug, creating no damage to the rug at all. And uh, you're going to see exactly what he's pulling out of this rug. And this is... Look at that. This floor was swept before he started. And he's going to sweep it again and put it all in one big pile for us. So, in your opinion, John, there's probably a lot of toxins in this. I mean, what uh, we're looking at right now is just years and years of... of pet, and on this rug in particular, they do have pets, so a lot of pet dander, possibly dust mites. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. This, this is pretty amazing. I was actually surprised because this rug had been cleaned. That's just not like a little pile. That's like two done. inches high. This is what we took out of the first. I bet you there's two or three pounds I of say, yeah. of just loose soil, dust, um, contaminants, toxins. That's in that rug. Some fine. I do have the door open just a little. That there is a lot of fine dust that has come out that you can see. Like that. that is just fine. Too. That is just. Yeah, so anybody that's watching this video, if you have any area rugs, loose area rugs, um, and you're having allergies, um, reactions, breathing problems in the house, this could be part of the problem that this is the kind of stuff that's in most area rugs, especially hand knotted rugs that really hold this kind of uh, loose soil. This machine is called a certified pile lifter, and John has dusted these two rugs that we just showed you. And now he's going to use this uh, machine on it and, it, and it, and it lifts the pile, and it also vacuums it. There's two motors in here or something too, yeah. right, John? Yeah. So after John has dusted the rugs, and then he used that certified pile lifter on there that we showed you with the dual motors, he's vacuumed the rug with a, a helper, a brand new bag, and a helper vacuum cleaner. And this is still what, <laughs> what has come out of the top of that rug. Um, out of two rugs. Out of two rugs. And this rug was brand new when he started. I mean, this bag was ran brand new when he started. This is just, this is what John's getting out of these carpets. It's absolutely amazing. Great and, work, with, and with the HEPA filter, you're collecting like 99.9% .9 of the soil. So all this is just paper fine dust that you can see falling right there. Yeah. Thank you, John. Sure.